you've arrived. This is the land of Attica, part of ancient Greece. What new adventures await Hercules in this, his native land? Many months ago, he set out alone, and now he returns with Iole, his bride. Accompanying Hercules and Iole to the city of Thebes will be the young Ulysses, son of Laertes. Now they must bid farewell to their comrades, who have shared their dangerous adventures of the last two years. Tifi, dauntless pilot of the Argonaut. Laertes, the restless ruler of Ithaca. Argo, who constructed the ship that served them all so well. You bring to Thebes the most beautiful girl in Jalco. She's the one who put me in chains. I'd love to see if anyone can put him in chains. Already, Hercules. I ask you this one favor, because I feel your judgment is mature. To be to him like a mother. Ulysses is only a child who thinks he's a man, and he'll need you. I think he knows. You'll behave? Don't take it seriously. It's only father. Now, you listen to me. Excuse me, but you don't have to worry. There, you see, he has no respect. One of these. <laughs> if you want me to come to you at any time, use one of these. 
Carefully tie a message to the leg of a pigeon and he'll bring it to me. But what are you doing with my pigeons here? A present. They were hers. Penelope got them at Samos. That's true. And they'll always fly back to Ithaca no matter where you release them. When men discover that these pigeons can transport the news quicker than we can, you will see that the world will be very different. It's only that most of us feel your pigeons are better to eat. <laughs> Farewell, Hercules. Take care of my son. Is it my wife you entrust him to? Or me? Here she is. I feel we don't have to worry over you, Ulysses. Come, help me up. Oh, I almost forgot. This loot, it's from Orpheus. Who's that for? If you expect to play the lute with those heads. <laughs> it's for your wife. Uh, I must practice. Uh, please thank him for me. Of course. Farewell, Ulysses. Heed the teachings of Hercules, because one day you will... Goodbye, Father. Hurry, Hercules, otherwise we'll all be crying. Farewell, Yole. Be careful, my son. I will, Father. see the city of Thebes. <laughs> we can tell him all about it. We want you to know that we've been listening to you. We know that the king is Oedipus. Who's a fine man. And as for Thebes, it's tremendous. All spacious and rich. And the stadium and the baths and the palaces. It must be heaven if you listen to Hercules talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, laugh. I don't know what you're joking about. Now you'll see what a real city's like. Why, you'll hardly believe your eyes. Well, the manners and courtesy of the people alone. and their manners are most exquisite. They're Argives. What are they doing in Attica? Why worry about it? The Argives are fighters. They live on war. They thrive on massacres. But wasn't their commander a Theban? Let's go a little faster. I'll show them. Hercules, that ceremony you went through, the bonds of matrimony. Now you're married, so drive carefully. <laughs> I'm grateful, Ulysses. Thanks for the reminder. Oh! Oh, so that's the way it is, huh? You're playing games with me. All right, then. Have your fun. I want to rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sleep a bit.
right, strangers. This valley is mine. And no one passes through this valley unless I say so, and they pay a price. Yes, this valley is Antaeus's, and you do anything because I say so. Now tell me, do you have any gold hidden in the carriage? And the first thing I'll take are your horses, so unharness them for me. Hercules! Hercules! Oh, I want to sleep. Come on, you get down. I said I want the horses. You take advantage of us just because you're on Taos. And why not? Just a boy and a lady. Come on now, get down. I'll show you what a boy can do. Uh, All right. Uh, 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 uh. Hercules, you'll kill him! I'm so sleepy I can't seem to keep awake. Who are you speaking to? To my husband. And what's he doing? He was dozing. Dozing, was he? I'll wake him up. I know those sleepy husbands. Or is he just frightened? He might awaken when he sees you. Husband. Hey, you husband. That's right. Kiss your lady goodbye and pass on. I'm adopting the lady. Is that right? Yes, I'm taking her. That's my pleasure. I like her very much, the lady. <laughs> and what does she say about that? She'd like a new husband like every woman. <laughs> well, if that's the way it is. But Hercules... <laughs> Hercules! Didn't I tell you? <laughs> they all turn out to be just like that. <laughs> all right, come on out and fight. A pleasure. <laughs> Maybe the next time you'll treat me better. Come on, let's be on our way. <laughs> Silly grin off his face once and for all. I tell you, Hercules, it must be Antaeus, son of the Earth Goddess. When he touches the ground, he marshals his forces. So that's it. Then I'll change my way of fighting. <laughs> put me down, Royal. You just put me down and you'll see. Let go of me, you cursed stranger. I'll get even with you by the gods. I said put me down. Let me die! All right, yes, go on. But one day you'll have to pass through my valley again. Just a little way further, beyond those trees. I hope we'll be able to rest there. I know this forest very well. Why shouldn't we? It's quiet here. They say the gates to the Inferno are hidden among its trees. But Hercules, look! That's strange. It's the first time I ever saw anyone here. Oh, I'm getting wet. 
Smash! Hurry there. Stop. What do you want? Let her alone. She's come to keep us company. What's your name? You'll soon find out. Don't worry. Now, look at that. She's beginning to fight. I better tame you. <laughs> Wasn't that Hercules? <laughs> no, Polybius, please, no. Be quiet. You and Ateocles, my own children, plotted to steal my kingdom and share it between you. Well, you have succeeded. You and your brother have driven me out of my kingdom. Only here can I find asylum. And here I shall die. Oedipus. What man says my name? I know that voice. It recalls a time in my life when I was happier. And my eyes that perceive only darkness are turned back to where there was light. The voice that comes is a friend to me. To me, you are still the faithful Hercules. What are you doing here? You're Polynesis. You have left Thebes. It was not up to me. My son thought it better I renounce the throne. And so at last I did, so that he and his brother might rule. Each was to rule for one year, then cede the throne to his brother. But now Polynices tells me that the year is up. Look, father, it's my turn now, and it's plain to see just what his brother wants to do. Ateocles is king now, and he won't cede to his brother. He promised to do so. But now that his year is up, he has driven his brother away. What are you doing here? What do you want of your father? Just to pardon us. I'm not going to be deceived. I know just what he wants. To get and keep the throne with the help of the Argives. The throne carries only tragedy. It can bring no happiness. And your city will fall between these two brothers. It is no matter to them that Thebes will be destroyed. That its men will be slain. And it's women, so long as these two ambitious rulers get what they want now. Now listen to me, Polynesis. I've known you since you were a child, and I respect your father. Otherwise, I would exact justice for Thebes. But I have another idea. I'll go to your brother and try to convince him to respect the pact you made. It's a noble thought that you have, Hercules, but my sons will listen to no one. But Thebes is my city. We must spare our people this bloodshed. Either I'm successful in overcoming the madness of these men, or I'll believe that I, Hercules, am deserted by the gods! Well, Polynesus, do you accept? If it's better, go to Ateocles, go on. I grant you six days to let me know if you can make peace between us. At the end of those six days, we'll march our army against the Thebans. Hold on a minute. Say goodbye to your father. Farewell, father. I know you wanted sons like Hercules, but you deserved us. The time has come, Oedipus. The gates are opening for you.
Hercules. No, Hercules, you cannot bother the king. He cannot be disturbed. No, not even for affairs of state. No one can speak to him about anything when the king is occupied in the tower. Will you listen to me, yes or no? Now, Hercules, see here, I'm warning you. You don't know how things are because you've been away so long. But believe me, they've changed. There, you see, they won't let you pass. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you have something important to tell me, since you found your way here. What I have to tell you cannot wait a tell me. Don't disturb the tigers. They're nervous, can't you see? I come on behalf of Polynesus, your brother. Polynesus. If I ever see the tigers go hungry, he'll be thrown to them. I'll speak about this to you later. Your Highness. Ah, nothing to do about it. There isn't anyone who's capable. You, perhaps. Maybe you'd be more fortunate. I promised quite a handsome prize to anyone who can train one. If he isn't killed, I mean. What do you think of it? I'm not here for that reason. Polynesus. And my father. What does he want? He wants you to concede the throne to your brother, as you said you would. Otherwise, he will march on Thebes with the Argivian army. And according to you, what am I supposed to do? Disappear? Return in a year if my brother feels like it? That's what you both agreed. Who is that girl there? Yole, daughter of Peleus. She's my wife. Hey, you've done well. Daughter of the king of Jolko. That brother of mine is afraid now. That's why he's threatening to use the soldiers. Might be a good idea for me, a voyage. To seek out a man able to train my animals. In Egypt, I'm told, they have the bravest men. Besides, I'll have to have allies. My brother will be king now, and I hope he rules the Thebans with as much success. <laughs> Farewell, Hercules. Farewell, Yole. Farewell, Creon. You always disapproved of me. Ah, you'll be in ecstasy. I'm saying goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what to say to all this. Did you ever see a man so close to madness? And the way he gave in to his brother, do you believe that? Your wife is quite right. He leaves because he has to, and for no other reason. You really think that? Eteocles knows this is the only solution for him. He made a good excuse to search for an animal trainer. He needs him, too. That was the last one. Who are they? They're prisoners. And if they try to escape, they meet the same fate as the animal trainers. I wish we didn't have to separate. I have no choice. Thebes is in danger. Welcome to my house, Atel, please. 
planning to take the lady with you? No, Ulysses will come with me. Ulysses? Ulysses? Now, who is he? Ulysses, son of Laertes, king of Ithaca. A king without soldiers? I'm not interested. Take this. And you can tell my brother this. From now on, what he asks, I will do. That's what you're here for, isn't it? And tomorrow morning, I'll send servants, goods, and provisions. If you live alone here in Thebes, you'll grow impatient. Thank you. I'll guard Yola until he gets home. Ah, then I'm certain she'll be all right. Crayon is the purest and most intelligent man in Thebes. Another Hercules in his way. I bid you goodbye. <laughs> Something about this place. Look, I'm hungry. Oh, yes. <laughs> and make sure and take good aim. And remember... The distance, the force of the wind, the speed of the target. You just decide how you like it before I get back. Well said. <laughs> I'll go start the fire up. And don't come back empty-handed. forgetfulness. Those who drink of them will forget all. What's the matter? Jolie, can't you hear a voice? Can't you hear it? But I don't hear anyone. Hercules, look at me. It's Ulysses. Hercules, listen to me. Hercules!
Well, this one was taking no chances, traveling alone with a deaf mute. And you. Come along. Come on. They're here. Don't desert me, please. Don't desert me. to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's something I'd like to ask you. And what would you like to ask me? What's happened to me? I don't remember anything. Not even who I am. And is that so important? No, I don't know. I can't remember anything. Do you know this boy? Why? Think hard. I've never seen him before. Come sit beside me. Who is that boy? Your servant. My servant? Yes. I swear by the gods that I... Do you want me to believe that you can't remember? That you're the king of this land? That you're my husband? Does it make? Nothing. It's just if you called me. To me, your name is love. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this place. And me? And you? Most of all. Was in the bottom of the chest. Does it mean anything for you and Hercules? Will you be still? When is he coming? He's only been gone about three days. Because of this treaty, you know. Many times you can't settle them right away. Yes, I see. If he's delayed, it's only logical. But I feel so anxious when I don't hear. I'll stay only until tomorrow morning, and then... I'll go to see if I can locate him.
you're going to work. Now. Now. <laughs> My boy, I've discovered something very important. Up to now, I've been making one big mistake. You should sleep in the daytime and stay awake at night. Otherwise, you'll lose the best part of your life. Ah, yes, the night was made for love. The sun out there dulls the senses. Enough! I'm hungry! <laughs> what a life! You wake up in the morning without a care in the world and nothing to do. It looks like you did it on purpose. Eteocles, Polynices, the message, the perilous war against Thebes. Bend it. If you can't, you'll convince me. Did you sleep well last night? Wonderfully. I dreamt of you. And I'm flattered. Somehow I recall that you had a different face. Prettier? No, just different. Blonde hair, sweet smile. So you've begun to betray me in your dreams. Aren't you afraid that somehow we displease the fates and they'll take their revenge on us? I don't want to talk about sad things when I'm so happy. I love you. And for me, that's all that counts. That's strange. Is something wrong, do you think? Why, look. That's one of the pigeons that I gave Ulysses. That one with the black markings. What is it that he's reading? I feel that it's Ulysses. I feel it. And what makes you so sure? But I know. He promised to send it if you were in trouble. Ulysses? Yes. What is it? I must depart immediately, I'm afraid. It's from Ulysses? Yes, he wants me to come to her. What did he write to you? Nothing, except that he's in trouble. And what will you do? I'll gather up some friends. We'll go to see what the trouble is and bring back Ulysses and Hercules. You mustn't tell anyone about my departing. No one must know the reasons for it. Now, don't worry. I'll bring back your son for you and your sweetheart to you. 
I promise you. can be an extraordinary thing. One of those girls might like me. Thank you, comrades. The gods will assist us now. Grant us our wishes because of our friends. You'll bring them out of danger. Ulysses and Hercules and Yola. No man can be depended on. I've been fooled again. Where is your Hercules? Grabbing his opportunity, giving us up to Polynesus. Nobody can say Hercules wants that. What proof is there? Well, listen to my information. I saw it with my own eyes, the concentration of troops they have waiting. I spoke with the soldiers there. They're waiting to begin the battle so they can divide the treasures of Thebes. They'll set up camp there, the Argives. There will stand the tent of Polynices. There they'll be like jackals waiting to capture Thebes. It's all due to Hercules. If that's what he wanted, he'd never have abandoned Yole. A man and a woman don't always see marriage the same. And perhaps he wants to break up his marriage. That man wouldn't. He knew Yoli might be taken as a hostage. <laughs> Surprise, Crayon. That's nice. <laughs> There's another surprise in store for you, old great sage. And it's planned just for you. And where do they find the princess? Just planning to run away. Because she couldn't stand Thebes and she wanted to rejoin her husband. If you... Did you hear from Hercules? No, not a word since he's away. And all I've done was wait here alone. And if I did run away, it was only that... I beg you to let me go to Hercules. That would be splendid for you two, eh? Reunited under the tender care of my brother Polynesus. I don't see what you mean, sir. But it's not her fault, Ateocles. And why blame Hercules? Don't you see? If you let them go to each other, then... Must you talk so stupidly? You talk to me as if I'm prepared to take leave of my senses. Take the woman away. But that's unjust, inhuman. I shall now arrest any and all Thebans suspected of plotting with Polynesus. Arrest them all! With their goods and families and servants. And I'll start now. You who all pretend that you want justice. And nobody, Hercules and my friends here in court. Crayon will be my example. Arrest him. It's time to go to work. Get out of bed now. Get up now. It's late. Your master's waiting for his massage.
That's the second time you knocked over my goblet. I do it for you, Hercules. Why is it you keep on calling me Hercules? Hercules. I've heard that name before. You'll see. Soon you'll remember. Remember what? It's too complicated to explain to you now. I beg you to avoid drinking that water. Then you'll recover your memory and soon we'll be able to escape. Go away. Isn't this your native land? My name's Ulysses. You and I have been comrades. We were captured and brought here. I tell you that we must get out of here. What I saw was so terrible. You see, during the day, they don't bother me. At night, I'm put into a cell and locked inside. Yesterday, I was looking for a means to get out. When I saw a path leading to a cave. are truly so clever that almost certainly you'll find the way of even preserving life life is different we can't create the soul of man still it must be exciting your work to fix for eternity a man's character just the man the way he looks the way he stands when can we expect to get to work on hercules tremble with fear at what she plans to do with us, Hercules. Why should I believe you? I expected that. I'm going to ask the queen to see if you're lying. Um, Folly will be sure to deny it. She'll kill me, and then what will happen to you? I prefer to be killed by you rather than that way. I promise you I won't speak any more about Hercules or Um, Folly. said leave me. Oh. Oh, my. What happened to you? Queen of me. No one ever dared give an order in my presence. Well, it's only the first time.
You have a strange power over me. Whether it's love or not, I don't know. And yet all I want is just to be with you. That's the way I like it, don't you? What was that? Someone has landed on the island. Great Queen, there are voyagers waiting. The Aertes of Ithaca has arrived with a small crew. They want to stay here several days. They're waiting to present their respects. Tell them to go away. Why don't they sail back to Ithaca? We don't want visitors. But we have to receive them. It would be an offense. A grave offense. And is it not an offense to me to be abandoned? I won't be far away. I won't be gone long. Just time enough to pay my respects. Wait here for me. I will not be gone long. Go on, back to yourself. You know what the orders are? Come on now. Hurry up. Come on. The Aegean Sea has not been gentle with us, Great Queen, and we have a long and perilous voyage ahead of us. Excuse us, mighty Queen, since all that you see here is poor and modest. Mercy and hospitality are all that we ask, and these gifts express our homage and goodwill to you who rule your island of Lydia with wisdom and graciousness. Thank you, Leia, King of Ithaca. I have already given orders that you and your friends will be taken to the best wing of the palace. My men will accompany you there. Our humble thanks to you. You, what is your name, young man? Castor. I have the feeling we have met somewhere before. While the others are taken to their rooms, stay a moment with me. I would like to try and remember where we met. I'm at your service. Hercules, what did you say? You mean you don't know me? Tell me of Ulysses. Who are you? What does this man want of me? Hercules. That's not who he is. You're right, Omphile. It's just because both Hercules and this man are both gigantic. But if you take another look at this man, then it's plain to see in a moment that we men were in error. But see here, Laertes, Hercules' face and his figure. This couldn't be Hercules. Who is this Hercules? A born fighter and the greatest man in Thebes. A hero. What does he have to do with me? Nothing. Why, it's like water and wine. It's bad to mix them. <laughs> I don't like the way you laugh or the way you talk. Please go. I'll see you later. Not later. Right this minute. I pray you to pardon me. Please excuse us, and now we'll retire if we may. I want to try this on. Pearls must have contact with the flesh before they take their best sheen. Tomorrow, this necklace will be much more beautiful. A man can only live so long patiently. The time is all gone. Ategles and Hercules are conspiring against me, getting the throne. They'll see. I'll be king yet, 
And they, all they need to see is this army coming. Your army can sweep under the Thebans. <laughs> It'll be a surprise, huh? For my friends down there. Certainly, it will be a great thing beating the Thebans. The throne is there and the riches of the city. All right, come on. Take your men to the south gate. Polyphante to the north gate. Iperbio, you'll defend Berenipo on his right flank. And Hector on his left. Ah, Lastene. And wasn't it of you that Creon said, Trust that man with your soldiers. You'll defend the most vulnerable point. The main gate of Thebes. At your command, Ateocles. I shall confront them and Polynesis on top of the sacred gate of Delphi. What is that? The country people around Thebes taking refuge in the city, sire. They've nowhere else to go. Coming into town without my saying so? But there are too many people to feed in Thebes already. No, back outside. Listen, Atea, please. The Thebans are getting restless. You'll be losing their favor. Yes, oh, surely. They prefer good old Crayon. But I've got a plan for Crayon. For now, close up the gates to the city. Close them. No one is to enter Thebes anymore. Why did you ask me to come here? You don't really want me. You would never understand. Really? But don't you think it's simple? You're furious that I ask that. And it's because you don't know the reason for our visit. No. And you won't learn it from me. Be quiet. Why? You've had enough of me? I pity you now. Because you can never hold Hercules. I cursed the day he entered this palace. You cursed the day I entered your palace, Omphale. <gasps> I was able to pull the threads together. 
At last I know who I am. Don't take revenge, Hercules. Don't worry. He wouldn't kill me. And what makes you believe that? You, yourself, Hercules. You won't kill me because you know how much I love you. I knew that sooner or later I'd lose you. And so I lost you, Hercules. If you only knew how I've struggled with myself to keep from ever falling in love with you. But in vain, all in vain. If I believed you, I would have pity on you. Oh, if only my sincerity could keep you here. Get up. Very well, Hercules. But there's one thing you can never take away from me. That's the love you gave to me. The love we shared together. Not even your Yola can ever take that away from me. Don't speak to me of Yola. We're leaving this island. As you wish, Hercules of Thebes. I will see that you and your friends get away safely. But go quickly before I change my mind. Hercules happens to be alive. But Ulysses, I'm sure that if he were alive, he would get to us somewhere. Sandoni, dismiss your men. I want to be alone with my guests. Goodbye, Laertes. Goodbye, my Greek friends. Hercules will depart with you. Sandoni will accompany you to the landing. You know how my boy is. Tell me, please. Hey, look out, father. I have a score to settle before they leave the island. Come on. There's still time to end up here. This way. Quickly, before the door closes! This is our only way out! Jump! your mantle. That's right.
the sound of the sea. It's coming from there. We're all safe now. Better swim out to her. Swim, did you say? I don't know how. I'll carry you. You'll be all right. <laughs> Come on, Escalapius. No, no, I prefer to return to home valley. Come on, into the water. No, I'm not afraid. It's only that the doctors haven't discovered a cure for rheumatism. <laughs> Your mother won't worry. My mother? No. Mother's so courageous she won't be upset. I sent her for Penelope. <laughs> the boy is growing. Yes. The youngsters today think only about girls. I'll never be able to repay you. Just go on being our friend. I wouldn't worry about it. And you'll see how long we'll be your guests at We Thebes. may not even go back to Ithaca. <laughs> <laughs> how long was I on the blasted island anyway? About 20 days, I think. That's much longer than we meant, too. 20 days. The time limit is up. Polynesia's at the gates of Thebes. Yole. I've been tricked by the gods. She's in the hands of that madman. Hoist sail and full ahead. In the name of justice and honor, I demand the immediate surrender of Thebes. To my brother, Ateocles, I guarantee to safeguard the lives of his followers, their property, and their civil rights. As for Ateocles himself, he will be sent into exile for the rest of his life. Now Polynesus will be king of Thebes. What do the Thebans reply to Polynesus? I'll speak now for the Thebans. Polynesus the Theban has turned into a traitor now. He uses alien soldiers and the coward Hercules. But we Thebans will answer this. Thebans can afford no mercy. Now they'll see. Well, down there, here is the family of your accomplice Hercules. All of them faithful to you, Polynesis. Why are they brought here? because you shall see how we deal with traitors. Hercules, by the gods you'll suffer. Your woman is going to provide a spectacle for us. Till the day I get you, she'll be held for the tigers. And the others, stand back now. Here's my answer, Polynesis. Look at your supporters, and you. You'll be next. Yes, you're next. There. <laughs> 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 
Don't return to Thebes, Hercules. Ateocles mustn't see you. He waits only for that in order to kill your wife. She'll die before your eyes, he kept screaming. It'll be the climax to everything, to throw her to the tigers. We're prepared to help you, Hercules. We'll do whatever you want, but you must be careful. Let me alone. It's a mistake to send all our forces against one gate because the Thebans are there. It's only because you want to meet face to face with Ateocles. It would be better to have the attack come as a surprise. My brother is mad, but he's ingenious. He can be sure about our going into battle when the Thebans have the sun in their eyes. Don't you count on my people in the city anymore? Well, our impression is that they're eliminated. There are still a great many who are loyal to me. Our information is to the contrary. The people want crayon, they say. That isn't true. I guarantee you about it. And who guarantees us about you? An emissary from Thebes. Bearing a message. Let him enter. Who sent you here? Ateocles. To speak to you, Polynesus. He offers to settle the rule of Thebes with a duel, just you and he alone. That is why I bring this to you now. A duel. Not a bad idea. How about it, Polynesus? I must think about it. It means peace now, Polynesus. Of course, it's much better to duel. Not afraid by any chance, Polynesus. Certainly not. But who will assure us the bargains respected? All of us Thebans. I'm only telling you that we're weary of these quarrels, of the bloodshed. But you may lose, Polynesus. You may die. Will they get out of the city and return to their houses? Do you promise that? Certainly. I assure you. Thank you. 
Hercules. Where's your Leprion? Where is she? Why, didn't you see her on your way here? No. I saw only the dead. But where's Yole? Why isn't she here? We convinced her to flee last night. That madman was bound to kill Yole. And so we thought it best that she run away, you see. Yole said that she would keep on looking till she found you. My, what a surprise. <laughs> but it's quite a story. First you get out of jail and finish being here and you're still captured. <laughs> I should love to see Hercules' face when he hears all about this. Then you'll be sorry, because when he... You'll still be ours while you're here. I shouldn't brag about it. As long as I'm respected, Hercules won't kill you. I prefer to risk that. By the gods, you already know his anger. I haven't forgotten when he hit me, but you'll make it up to me. <laughs> I don't forget these things, you see. You'll pay double for this, I warn you. And for once, the great Hercules isn't here to help you. You just wait here, and I promise you, I'll be back later.
as evil and stupid as his brother. They deserve to end this way. Hercules! Do you see this? Well, I shall celebrate this victory. She's in my house now. And I'm going there. Get to your post! Thebans are abandoning their defenses. They must be surrendering the town. Fates took revenge on Oedipus and his sons too for inciting the gods. Now with these flames they purify our city and those who shall stay. How much you've suffered, Yole. The gods have placed many obstacles against us. And there'll be others. I hope we shall withstand them. Somehow the gods will be kind if we just love one another. <laughs> 